get ready to play basketball here tonight. It'll be to jump center uh, as the Bucks come out on the floor. Lister, who stands 6 feet 11, will be in there to jump center. Coming as impressive at the forwards, Donnelly of Avon Creep at the guards. And for the Chicago Bulls, they will have in the pivot jumping center, Caldwell Jones, who is 7 feet tall, surrounded by Woolridge, Johnson, Wapley, and Jordan. So we're ready to play basketball here in the first quarter of play. The Bulls going right to left, and the Bucks have the tip, and they will advance it from there. We are underway here from the Chicago Stadium as the Bucks have the first opportunity to do something. Moncrief, here is Lister on the hook shot, does not connect. Rebound fought for hard in there. Moncrief came up with a loose change and drops it in for his first two points of the game. That's the story. And the Bucks, of course, with all those great years when they had Jabbar, that's where they really fattened up that series from what I remember, Red. For a dominating team in the early and mid-70s. Long shot by Jordan. Ties it. Michael Jordan, I think, Red is a little bit better shooter than a lot of people uh, gave him credit for, perhaps. Moncrief, a long one. Answers it. And we have an end-to-end -end game right off the bat. Bulls will be trying to avenge some of what you just saw there. Nice left-handed shot by Enos Watley. What a great feed they came off of. Uh, Michael Jordan up in the air, beautiful feed. So are tied at four, and again, Moncrief on the drive in heavy traffic. As he went to the hoop, he ran hard into either Steve Johnson or uh, Michael Jordan. That's the story on the shooting to the moment this season. Uh, the Bucks uh, survived some terrible shooting, but still managed to win the game. Gave that last foul to Jordan, by the way. Dunleavy with a long one. Grimson comes out. Here come the Bulls on the attack. Steve Johnson got down there quickly. He missed the layup, and it was knocked out of bounds. And it goes to the Bucks. That's something we didn't see last year, Red, from this Bulls team. Now they got the fast break going. Uh, really got out and, and ran with it off of a uh, missed shot. Alton Lister handling the pivot chores. We will see Brewer and McKeskey also in there. Good steal. The ball came loose. Jordan, Watley, two on three. There. Oh! A great block by Cummings out of bounds. Came in from the back. Ooh, beautiful help. Uh, that time we saw Jordan come in with the left hand and coming over the top is the Chicago native from Carver, Terry Cummings with the block. Dunleavy gets called into foul as we come back to live action. A good fake by Mo Watley. Got caught just above the circle. He had two good chances to look at that block shot by Cummings. There you see him. He just made that block. And there's a guy who I would imagine, because of his Chicago roots, both in high school and college, has to be very keyed up to come back and play on this court. Jordan, an air ball. Lister is able to screen Caldwell Jones away from the offensive rebound. And so, as we approach the two-minute mark in the first quarter, we're tied at four. Montre front rims it, tipped out of bounds. Who got it? Out of bounds to the Bucks. 4-4 tie here in the early moments of our game. Coach Don Nelson, who really took on a challenge this year, as he knew he would have a rebuilding job on his hands. Lister in heavy traffic. Montreep a three-pointer. Nope. Steve Johnson, or Jones, went up for it. He blocked the shot on the rebound, and an offensive foul was called, I think, on Cummings. That's or on Lister. Lister and the foul. Yeah. Cummings came across. They don't block Cummings out. He goes hard to that board, so there's a job to do. Not only uh, keeping Terry Cummings in the ball, but when the ball goes up on that offensive board, you've got to keep him up. Offensive foul does not count as a team foul. Lob for Jordan inside. Easy for him. Uh, he took the he, Mr. Defense, Sid Moncrief, downtown with him. Boy, Jordan's so tough to play. You were talking about it before the game, before we went on tonight, Red, because they can play him both inside and outside. They can lob for him. They can do all sorts of things for him. Dunleavy from three-point range. He hit a couple of those in Milwaukee on Saturday night. Foul on the rebound. We'll wait on this one. Dunleavy cranks it up from just inside the three-point line. Yeah, it looked like Caldwell Jones gave it the push. Indeed, that's what they indicated. So Jones called for the foul. That's a second against the Bulls. And out of bounds, Dunleavy with it. Fake the lob to Pressy who is cutting toward the basket. Here is uh, 
Cummings, and as he went up, Steve Johnson stuck a hand in there trying to knock the ball away, and he got called for the foul. Steve Johnson with his first. All right, the ball comes back on a weak side. He looks like he's going to make a driving move, and uh, Steve Johnson just puts his hand in hip high and gets caught with the foul. TC to the line for the first two free throws of the game. They rule him as being in the act of shooting on that. So Cummings has a pair. There with that first one. Play one release. Cummings had a, a, a very impressive performance. And you can see what he did with the Clippers last year. Boy, did he come in with the Bucks and do a job in their season over in Milwaukee on Saturday night, especially from the foul line where he was 10 of 13. There's the score, all tied up. About three minutes old, first quarter. In the paint, Watley. Jordan driving hard. Oh, what a move as he went to the opposite hand, and he has six. He does that so well. Bulls lead it by a pair. He has that kind of pump motion effect, and it really freezes the defenders. Feed in for Lister, and Jones appeared to fall him from the side, trying to cover up. That's his second foul, but uh, as one of the listed as one of the hang time leaders, and he hadn't played a game in the NBA, I guess it was in the Sports Illustrated, and he showed you just why, Michael Jordan. Pressy tries to feed it, it hit traffic and bounced off of the glass. Jordan, three on two, driving, drops it, oh. Ridge blocked, foul called as he was driving to the hoop. Again, making things happen, taking a ball. He took it off the rebound, and this is what he can do with it. He's got the team spread out. Now, coming in, you can't see him. Orlando Woolridge comes out of the corner down the baseline, goes up to slam it, but Pressy reaches in and grabs him. Good job running the break. But uh, that'll happen, uh, coming off the rebound, if he can get the ball. That's what Magic Johnson does so well. He catches that ball off the rebound and creates the break. Bulls had all kinds of free throw shooting problems in Milwaukee Red. And what nobody was it more apparent with than Walridge. He just missed all sorts of opportunities up there. A little and, trap here at half court now. Yeah, sure enough. Watley trying to put the pressure on. Moncrief down the lane. Tried to dish it off. He may have lost it going up. I think he just lost it going up in the air, and it's out of bounds to the Bulls. So the Bulls have it back, and Watley comes into the fourth court. Dunleavy guards him from afar. Woolridge is covered by Pressy. Got a little screen. Missed on the shot. Rebound to Dunleavy, the smallest man on the floor. Watley picks him up. Cummings across. Woolridge guarding him. Cummings goes up. This is on the shot. Steve Johnson unable to seal off on the boards. It took a weird carom off of there. Moncrief amid yells of three seconds. Lost the ball going up. The Bulls have it back. Woolridge foul. Pressy from the side. Pressy picked up his second foul. Here's the steal. You'll see uh, Michael Jordan gets a tip of the ball when it comes into center here. Uh, that was uh, Mo Watley with it. Now, they can't quite control it, but they do get the ball to Watley. He comes up the court strong with it. Past Orlando, Pressy picked up the foul. In ball, live, live ball. Common foul, Bulls with it out of bounds. Speed to Steve Johnson. Traffic is heavy in there, and a foul call. Pressy tried to drop back to the level of the ball and put on some extra pressure, and Cummings picked up the foul, trying to play him from behind. All right, Orlando just tries to drop the ball down low to his teammate. Steve Johnson makes a move to the center, and Terry whacks him. Watley with the inbounds pass. Bulls have it back again, the common foul. Steve Johnson, he was held. Cummings almost grabbed his uh, jersey and held on to him there. Well, that's two fouls now by Cummings back to back. And the Bulls are in a bonus. Steve Johnson will go to the line. Now, the problem that you have here in the free throw shooting is Orlando Woolridge is not really a good free throw shooter. He's working on it. He's improved himself. Steve Johnson is not a good free throw shooter. Jordan and Watley are uh, probably the best two free throw shooters in the lineup, although Caldwell Jones, a very good one, doesn't get to the line that much. Yeah. Johnson is now four for six on the air with that last free throw. You see the numbers on him to the moment. And he is on the board. That second one to go down. And so now the Bulls with their largest lead of the game at five. Bulls have shown a tendency to get out of the gate pretty well early. You saw the trap again as Watley trying to put on some extra pressure. Bulls double teaming the ball. And the Bucks reverse it and press. He's wide open. Misses the shot. And Caldwell Jones was fighting. Moncrief kept it alive and it was tipped out by Jones. Bulls, uh, the Bucks are a much better rebounding team. They throw the ball up and they really go hard after it. The Bulls have not uh, mastered that part of the game yet. Here's Cummings from the baseline. Rolls it long, and that time Woolridge driving to try to get the rebound, and he 
Kind of got caught in there against Pressy, I think. It's his third. Yeah, sure enough. All right, to the bench for the first time, we're going to see Kenny Fields now come in, the rookie that uh, the Bucks have drafted this year. And Paul Pressy, who was a full-time guard last year, now moved up to play the small forward and has gotten himself in a very quick foul trouble. Well, it's a tough matchup for Pressy. There's no question because he's giving up a lot of height to Woolridge, who's such a strong player to begin with. And Orlando goes to the line. Does not connect. He is one for three from the line. Kenny Fields out of UCLA. Yeah, a lot of people are coming questionable. Oh, a try tip attempt fired by Caldwell Jones was not on the money. And, steal. Uh, and a steal. Jordan comes up with it. It's a three on three. Jordan driving. Lost it. He tried to go between his legs. Cummings. Now Jordan stole it back and was called for the foul. He stole it back, jumped up in the air. He called a foul on Jordan. Now, here's where he loses the ball. He tries to, he just loses control of it. He grabs it back, and he reaches in, hits him on the hand, gets called for the foul. And the Bulls take timeout. There's timeout on the floor, 7.04 left in the first quarter, and it is the Bulls on top by five. Well, that's our story back at Chicago Stadium where the Bulls are on top by five. And the story from the field. Well, Milwaukee's generated a lot of shots and not connected on many of Yeah, the last shot, uh, last basket was at the 11-15 mark that the uh, Bucks have made, two out of 10. Cummings is gonna try into the, cut into that deficit a little bit. He has three points now with that free throw. Both field goals are by Moncrief, by the way, and, and that's been it as far as the Milwaukee field goal attack is concerned. He got him right away, too. Yeah. Uh, rebound Moncrief kept it alive, but had nowhere to throw it as he was going out of bounds. The Bulls have it back, leading by four. And dished out to Watley from Jordan. Tried to go in there. Three-second violation. A couple of Bulls players getting ready to go for the offensive board. Got trapped in there too long. And Fields takes the inbounds pass for the Bucks. Fields and Cummings. Lister up front. Stolen away battle for it. A foul, foul called to Moncrief trying to recover after Watley took the ball right out of his hands. Moncrief with his first. That was a professional foul right there. All right, they double team him at half court. Now watch my, look at Venus Watley. He stayed with Dunleavy and then hit him on the blind side. Came by it with the steal. He'll be at the line. Dunleavy's going to lead the game. And is that uh, Hodges? That's yep. Craig Hodges Craig from Hodges. Cal State Long Beach. Oh. He played his high school ball around here, right? He played at Rich East. Right. Very fine player. One of many, so many, who have come out of this area and have been recruited all over the country. Like Rod Higgins, for example, left the region. Is a very fine player for Fresno State. Many players like that have done very well. Watley now has three on the night. Bulls have not substituted as of yet. Remember, Quinton Daly is uh, right. They got a problem. It surprised me at the start. Uh, he's got an illness. He'll miss this game. We'll see Wes Matthews, who they signed to a contract. I'm sure get some quick action. He was supposed to play tonight anyway, so he'll definitely get some. Six point Bulls lead their largest of the night to the moment. Kind of a motion offense going here. Fields goes in traffic, and Hodges takes his first shot, and he drills it right home. That's where he likes the left side of the court. He's deadly from there. Uh, he sure showed it right there. That cuts that Bulls lead to four points. Steve Johnson up high. Moves around Cummings, driving, gets the nice basket. Steve Johnson with a power move to the hoop, and he has four. He kind of sensed Cummings on his side. Boy, when he felt that, he just took off on him. Made a good move down that way out. Very effective. Hodges to Moncrief. Jordan's on Moncrief. Moncrief driving. Got caught up in the air. Cummings stole the outlet pass from Caldwell Jones. Here's Hodges. Cummings, pump fake, he traveled. He traveled, the ball goes over, and the Bulls have it right back. There's a good look at Terry. Oh, what a game he had in Milwaukee. A lot of people were concerned how he would be fitting in with this Milwaukee attack. But boy, he looked as fresh as a daisy. That's right. Saturday night, he looked great. Here's Jordan driving in the lane, ran into fields. Ran right into field, offensive foul. Uh, Steve Johnson bumped in Orlando Woolridge, and neither one of them got a chance to, to uh, get to the hope. So the ball goes over, and the Bucks now. Uh, a little over the halfway through the first quarter here. 
from the Chicago Stadium tonight. Bill Hazen and Johnny Kerr with greetings for you on Sports Vision. And uh, we're happy to tell you that we have our most exciting schedule of Bulls basketball ever this year. Listener with a lean in and puts it up and he has his first two. And we're excited about the games coming up. What a season ahead and with Michael Jordan and Caldwell Jones to go with the great players, Paul oh. Rich and the many great players. Ought to be something. You saw Jones go down. Jordan with a long one. Rebound comes out to Cummings. If Milwaukee scores here, they'll cut it to two. Drive by Fields. Whistle sounds as he was on the drive, and uh, I think Venus Watley got a hand in there and, and uh, trying to knock the ball away. That puts the bonus into effect at 4.55 for the quarter remaining. Uh, you saw the uh, screen set on the other end by Caldwell Jones, and crashing right through it, knocking Jones down was Sidney Moncrief. But when you get a, a label as the defensive player of the year, I guess you're supposed to be able to sneak through those screens. I thought it was obvious right in front of him, but they allowed it to go through. Fields misses the first. He'll have one more. He is not yet on the board, but just as I say that, he knocks down his first point of the night, and it's now a Bulls three-point lead. As Enos Watley will bring it into the forecourt. Hodges has picked up Watley. You have Moncrief working against Jordan right now to size up the backcourt matchups for you. Watley, a fadeaway, was blocked in the air. Hodges got a hand on it. Baseball pass for Moncrief. He brought it in somehow like a good wide receiver. Kicks it wide open as Kenny Fields, and he hits it. Well, they had a three-second violation there that time. Lister underneath, but he just ran out of bounds. They let him go with it. Good shot from the side. Bulls have seen their lead shrink to just one point. Their largest lead of the game had been six. Well, they have not done nothing on a half-court offense so far, Bill. Everything they've done has been a one-on-one -on -one situation. Yeah, indeed. Here's a nice little screen. Woolridge, he traveled with it. It looked like they were just getting something working right there, Red. And sure enough, Woolridge traveled with it. It's a close-up look at Orlando. And Hodges will take the inbounds pass now, and he'll go to work as the Bucks go into the forward court. Bucks, it seems to me, are not running nearly as much this year as they have in, in previous years. They seem to be more of a setup team. Jordan blocked the pass out of bounds. It was intended for Moncrief along the baseline. Well, you got to remember that Lister would be uh, forward now if Lanier was playing center, and they dominated the boards pretty good. They could get out and fly. They had Junior Bridgman. They also had... Uh... Oh, here we go. Yeah, Jordan with a steal. Ahead to Woolridge. He plays it up for the basket. That's as close as you can come to traveling without traveling. <laughs> Good steal again, ignited by Michael Jordan to set that off. Three-point Bulls lead. Cummings on the wing. Notice that Steve Johnson sags back. They'll, they'll let him take that shot out there. But uh, Hodges, meantime, nails one from that left side of the floor. And Nihau has four. Jordan back the other way. Bulls by one. The low feed to Johnson. That's where he wants it, right in there deep. Traveling. Somebody reached a hand. I think Hodges reached a hand in there and bothered him and forced him to travel. And the Bulls will be bringing on Wes Matthews for the very first time as you see him come onto the floor. And that's the story on it. Well, we thought you'd uh, see him kind of early. Uh, he played for Kevin Lockery at Atlanta a couple of years ago, so he knows what Kevin's trying to do. He caught on quite quickly to this offense. He was acquired uh, over the weekend when the injury to Ronnie Lester came about. Cummings. Fed to Fields. He's open. They're going to let Craig Hodges shoot from there and Fields. They're going to make him. you got to get a hand up on him. Yeah, back no, to that side. Nobody even close. Yeah, an unobstructed jump shot situation like that. Make it very tough. The Bucks take the lead with that hoop at 18-17. Woolridge to Jones for the hoop. Caldwell Jones with his first two in the Bulls. Take the lead right back by a point. Montreal with Jordan on his side. We'll have a timeout coming up. Don Nelson calls for it just as they cross the timeline and we'll pause. 2.38 left in the quarter, and there's your score. Let us take a moment to remind you the broadcast rights to this game have been granted to Sports Vision by the Chicago Bulls solely for the entertainment of our viewing audience. And any reproduction or other use of this program without the express written consent of Sports Vision is strictly prohibited. That's the story on the scoreboard. It's been an even first quarter for the most part. Tough backcourt now. The Bulls have Wes Matthews in his first leading role, and he's joined by Rod Higgins now, who replaces the rookie Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, that's rebound. forward. Rebound story is all Milwaukee early in the game. And 
Terry Cummings gets another field goal to help his cause. He has five points now for the quarter, and the Bulls find themselves trailing by a point. Steve Johnson inside. It's blocked goaltending. Lister, count that one. No doubt about that. Steve Johnson has a six-point first quarter going. What a story on the boards, Red, at 14 to 3, Milwaukee. Here's some pressure. Matthews trying to put it on. Caldwell Jones well out front. And now the middle is suddenly left unopened, uh, undefended for a moment, but Jones got back. Cummings wide open, missed the oh. shot. Oh, and a terrible fall by Matthews. He landed on his elbows, thank goodness. And that, I think that cushions some of the blow. Woolridge will drive in traffic, and he gets the hoop. He has five points for the quarter. I'll and tell you, Matthews can get up as uh, like anybody out there for his size. He was stunning before the game with some of those dunks he put on. He can yeah. rebound. At six feet one. I hope they don't have to depend on him, though, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They're in trouble if they do have to depend on him. I guarantee you that. Cummings operating down low. Missed on the shot. Rebound fought for Moncrief again. Well, oh, man, Moncrief is all over the place on those boards. Fields, the good head fake. Missed on the shot. Tipped around. Bulls can't control it. Lister, he missed. He was hacked hard as he put up the layup shot underneath. Well, if you, you want to go back, uh, we'll take one look at Wes Matthews uh, getting that last rebound. A shot from the side missed by Cummings. Watch Matthews goes up. He just gets hit by uh, Orlando Woolridge, I believe, and gets knocked down. Here comes Corzine in the game now for Caldwell Jones. But if you go back to that scouting report at the beginning of the game, and I gave that rebounding to uh, Milwaukee, you know, they've got two guys on the bench, as I mentioned, seven foot one Paul McKeskey and seven four or six, however you want to look at it, <laughs> Randy Brewer. So, I mean, they can keep you busy on it, but you've got to block them out once they miss that shot. They really are big. They're one of the biggest teams in the league. Lister misses the first free throw. Should be able to, to, to beat him down the court when you've got that kind of size going through the board yet, but you've got to get the ball. Got that second one. Lister got the second one to go down. So he has three. Now full court pressure. And the Bulls break it quickly. Here they come. Rod Higgins, who just came in, larches a jump shot, misses, and the rebound comes out to Alden Lister. Here comes a nice pass off Cummings for the slam as he got a nice feed from Craig Hodges. Cummings has seven for the quarter. And he is off and rolling with a very strong first quarter. McKeskey gets off the Milwaukee bench. Feet deep to Corzine. Hook shot goes off of the boards. Should be an offensive foul, and it is. Corzine wheels to the middle, came back to the left, uh, threw that arm up into Alton Lister, and drew the foul. Mokeski in for Terry Cummings. So now the Milwaukee team has an even bigger front line than they had in there before. They uh, really have some beef. Mokeski plays at a forward spot in this setup. Moncrief in the forecourt, covered now by Rod Higgins. Little two-man game here. Fields. Now Hodges pops out. It goes to McKeskey. Hands back to Hodges. A long one. Front rims and Corzine with a rebound. Outlet to Woolridge. That was almost picked up. Woolridge driving. Gets the hoop on a nice move. He has seven points. Good move. He threw on McKeskey. McKeskey just tried to take the offensive foul, but uh, O was around him. Boy, the Bulls are putting on some backcourt pressure, and Matthews draws the foul. Wes Matthews with his first. The bonus was already in effect as Kevin Lockery looks uh, on. Watch the Walter Payton movie. Gives him here. McKeskey tries to stand up and O just sneaks <laughs> around gently, underhands it into the hoop. Oh, and he was able to twist his body while in the air to avoid that contact. That's very impressive. Well, as Joe shows something here, now you've got uh, or, uh, Quentin Daly, who's going to miss the game at an illness. It shows you how short the Bulls can be if they do not have Jordan back in the game. Here he comes now for Steve Johnson, so that'll put him in the back and put uh, Higgins up front. So H Higgins and Woolridge at the, small, at the forward spots. Corzine in the middle, Matthews and Jordan right now in the back. One more for Hodges who has five. He's off to a tremendous start. Well, Don Nelson has done a super job. He does not really have a point guard. He's using two or three guys, and it's been very effective for him. Hodges reaches total point production from Saturday night right there with six. And it is now the Bucks and Bulls tied up at 25. Jordan in traffic. Kicks it out. West Matthews a long one. No, Woolridge tried for the jam and missed it. Boy, he came flying through the air without a trapeze. Moncrief up and in on the baseline. And the Bucks take the lead. Moncrief with six. Jordan nearly lost it. And 
did lose it, and a long half-court buzzer bomb by Hodges misses the mark. So we are through the first quarter of play, and it's the Bucks by a pair. And we sure wanted to welcome them. And folks, for those of you watching for the first time, this is where you'll find the Hawks, the Bulls, the Sting, and a whole lot of other stuff, the White Sox. So if you're interested, why don't you contact Continental C Cable and say you want Sports Vision. They'll be happy to give you all the details on Sports Vision. And Larry Misha in now for Milwaukee and uh, Sidney Green in for Chicago. All right, we get second quarter action underway. Matthews on the attack. Rod Higgins. He'll dribble it, goes to Jordan, driving on the baseline. They double-team Jordan immediately, trying to hem him in. Sidney Green in traffic. Boy, he had a jump shot there and just couldn't uh, couldn't take it. He wanted to dribble it and did so. McKeski through the foul. Jordan double-teamed in a corner. He gets the ball down out of Green. He can't get the hand on it. Mokeski gives him a little bit of a bump, picks the foul. Common foul. It'll be out of bounds as the Bulls will toss it back in. So Sidney Green fouled in the act of driving. Jordan's open, coming off a pick, missed the shot, tipped around, comes up to Sidney Green for the easy slam. Hey, look what I found. Two points is what he found. Sidney Green from Nevada, Las Vegas, the Bulls' top draft choice of a year ago, puts it in. So Sidney Green is off and rolling. The Bulls have come back and tied it now at 27. Mishaw, Sidney Green guarding him. Hodges is being covered by Matthews. McKeskey with a hook. Put it up over the top of Higgins. Boy, that's a real mismatch there. Matthews on the other end lays it up. Basket, he put it in. Fields fouled him. What a play. The first hoop that I've seen uh, Matthews get for the Bulls this year. What a super play. But watch the pass here. Michael Jordan looks away. Threads it on a dead run. And Kenny Fields tries for the block. He lays it up over the rim. And in. beautiful pass by Michael Jordan. Wes Matthews being... The guy that lights the board up, and he gets three out of it. So Matthews converts the three-point play, and boy, that one angle, you could just see that ball coming right into your living room, as you often are fond of saying, Red. That was a perfect pass right on the money. You really saw just how tough it is to thread a pass like that. Illegal defense on the Bulls. That will be a warning the first time. So the warning comes out for that first one. Coach Don Nelson, the Bucks head coach, seem to have been mentioning along the sidelines to the officials about that. Kevin Lockery, coach of the Bulls. Each team, by the way, was called for that several times. These teams both play a lot of uh, double-teaming type uh, coverage. Long jump shot by Hodges, and boy, he's hitting them. Hodges has eight points. Out of bounds, Bulls. He has the hot hand. That guy right there, you had a good close look at him. Greg Hodges has been... Uh, you know, he may be a real find in that trade with uh, San Diego. He may be a real extra bonus. Feed in heavy traffic. It bounced around. It was too hot for Higgins to handle as Jordan blasted it in there. Went out of bounds, <laughs> and the Bulls are fortunate to have the ball back. Oh, he, th he threw a the fastball in there. They're not going to do much with that. Matthews out front. Goes over Moncrief. A long one, and West Matthews has his fifth point. West Matthews coming off the bench. Funny shot, you know, a little bit of a shot to it. The ball moves sideways, not a good rotation on it, but it's effective. Montre trying to post up, feed in there. Higgins came over to cover, and a foul was called on the drive. Well, you see, uh, the Bulls were down. Uh, they had the best shooting percentage, the worst free throw percentage, and the worst rebounds. The turnovers were just about even. Uh, the foul is on Wes Matthews. Matthews, uh, as soon as Moncrief noted he had Matthews on him, bam, he went right to the <laughs> hole. They got some help on a blocked shot from uh, uh, Sidney Green, no, but uh, Moncrief was already to the hoop. Moncrief now has seven with that free throw. And puts one more in for a total of eight. Oh. And it is now a one-point Bulls lead. Early in the second quarter, two minutes old here from Chicago Stadium, Bill Hazen and Johnny Kerr. Happy to have you with us in Sports Vision tonight. First of many, many regular season telecasts of the Bulls that we'll have. We'll be with them all over the league. Fields called on the foul that time as a pass was blasted what a, in there. Fields has quick, two quick ones. Strange feeling calling all these players for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're very unfamiliar. Junior uh, Bridgman gone and Marcus Johnson gone yeah. and Lanier gone. They've had a dramatic boy, change. Oh boy, yeah. That guy, however, Moncrief is not gone, and they'll build around him and Cummings. 
And uh, who knows, they may have found somebody who can help them in Craig Hodges. I've really been impressed with him. Higgins to Matthews. Covered by Hodges. Jordan in the paint. Drops it for Corzine. And he was going, getting ready for the rebound. And that pass caught him by surprise. That'll bring the Boobirds out. And Dave wasn't quite ready for it. Out of bounds. Bucks have it back with a chance to take a lead. In the far court. They've got to remember that the Bulls will find this out that Jordan is not a selfish ball player. He'll get inside that paint and still look to pass the ball off. And now Corzine fighting uh, Paul McKeskey for a position down at his end draws his second foul. Well, you know, and that's a, in a way, that's a very good thing because once the players get used to it, they'll always be looking yeah. to that passer. They'll figure, hey, I might get, get, uh, get the ball. So they'll work harder to get open. Here's a long shot by Moncrief. He knocks it down from just inside the three-point line, and the Bucks take a one-point lead with that. Moncrief is in double figures with 10, and he looks like an all-star player tonight. Just what he is. Green. There is a uh, shot by Jordan, and he rolls it up and in. Rattles it down. He has eight points. So Michael Jordan on the move. Gives the Bulls back to a one-point lead. All right, here they're doing. Uh, Mockery setting plays up on the board. They're trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. He lost the ball. They're still oh. away. Laid out for Jordan. This should be an easy two. Kaboom! And that's what they came to see, didn't they? A short roar here in the stadium. Jordan just rocked the cradle for his tenth point, and the Bucks are going to call time. Up off the bench was Don Nelson after that one. Moncrief got his pocket picked, and they paid for it at the other end, the Bucks did. The Bulls on top by three. Well, it seems to me the Bulls, Red, have changed magically in one year from a horizontal to a vertical team, and I think we're going to see what we're talking about right here on this last slam. All right, there's a steal now from Moncrief. They try to go one-on-one. -on -one. They get out to Michael Jordan. Everybody in the gym stopping to realize what's going to happen. Here he comes with a cup. Slam, jam, thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice Woo. and easy. And that was a timeout call. Now Kevin Greeby gets off the bench, the veteran left-handed set shooter. The Bucks bring in their 10th player already in this game. Greeby is a good shooter from the wing and can make things happen. Speed low, McKeskey, the hook shot. Oh, Jordan wanted to block yeah. that and decided not to at the very last minute. Then McKeskey has his first two points in a rolling hook over the middle, and now it is a uh, one-point Bulls lead. Higgins. Higgins is covered by Cummings. Matthews covered by Hodges. Sidney Green trips. Slipped. Slipped a little bit. He wanted to make a head fake and slipped on the court. Uh, you see there, he's pointing that a little wet out there. They're going to come and wipe this up. Wipe the perspiration up. He came around to pick. He was looking to make a fake and drive, but his feet went out from under him, and Grevy now will inbound it in front of, and inbound it in front of the bullpen. Gravy puts it into Hodges, and Matthews is on him. McKeskey will come, and here's one of the bigger screens in the National Basketball Association. At halftime, we're going to look at the list of players over seven feet tall in this league, and it's very, uh, you'd be amazed how many players there are that big. McKeskey is one of them. You saw a nice roll-up jump shot that fell in by Craig Hodges, who now has 10 points, and he has really played his weight from a scoring standpoint here in the first half. Matthews. Sidney Green trying to move in, and he was kind of held off there by Mishaw, and I think Mishaw got it, sure enough. So Mishaw picks up his first. Bulls like Mishaw. They like him very much. There it is. Uh-oh, he held him. Greavy held him. They played the alley-oop, and the fans would have come to their feet that time, but they had him on the weak side, and Greavy just reached out and grabbed him and said, nah, not on me, please. Please. That puts the bonus into effect at 7.30. Now here they come with more height, as I said. They take out a man. Who are they going to take out? They're going to take out Kenny, or they're going to take Misha out and come in with Randy Brewer, who got 10 points uh, last Saturday, coming off the bench to lead their scores off the bench. That's adding six inches to your lineup by bringing Brewer on and uh, Misha going to the bench. 7-3 for 6-9. Jordan Higgins gets seven one. Oh yeah, they have a definitely one of the biggest lineups now, in the league. If they bring Lister in, they've got the trio. Well, now their power forward Terry Cummings becomes their small forward. <laughs> now he'll work on a small forward of the bull at six feet nine. Bucks have used eleven players already. Hodges, Cummings kicks it across to Greeby. Looks for a target. He'll kick it around. Hodges, Cummings is open. Goes over Corzine and sticks the jump shot. 
Derrick Cummings has nine points. That's his first two of the second quarter, and the Bucks now lead it by a point. Matthews running the attack for the Chicago Bulls. Matthews and Jordan at the guards. Corzine in the middle. Sidney Green and Rod Higgins up front. Missed shot. Uh, nice tip effort in there by Jordan. He got loose underneath and went way up there and was fouled from the back. He gives you the extra rebound. And now Grevy is just running around trying to find a Bulls have to be the ball. Here's the missed shot. You watch the hands come up. And they belong to Michael Jordan as Terry Cummings was over the top of him. And that's who's coming third foul, isn't it? That's right. That's what I have on him, Red. Jordan at the line. Jordan continues to knock down free throws like they're going out of style. He is now, for the year, 14 out of 15. He did miss that one. Jordan stole it and knocked it out of bounds. Good try to get it back. Jordan already with 13 points in the half. He knew he was going to miss that foul. He was right there to try to get it back in. And the Bucks will bring it across. Hodges covered by Matthews. They have a four down. It looked like kind of a four down play, if you will. Four players right near the baseline. Here's Cummings shaking loose in there. Goes up for a power move. You can't stop him that close to the hoop. He has 11. And now it is the Bucks by two at 41-39. Midway through the second quarter play here from the stadium. Higgins, a long one. Up in the air. Brewer, uh, McKeskey rather, coming down with it. They have both those seven footers in the lineup. Hodges, the shot was blocked by Sidney Green. Knocked around, Hodges got it back, and then he's fouled by Higgins. Uh, the Bulls got caught standing around. The shot was missed by Hodges. Ball came down. Now you have to block out or get the bully. No, now watch him. Sidney Green goes for the shot, gets a piece of it. Now watch it come straight down. And he can't really do that. Come back in, but they let him do it. Cummings kept that ball alive. Red coming in late. Orlando Woolridge coming back in. You see Steve Orlando. Johnson. Yeah. Johnson back in. Sidney Green to the bench along with Rod Higgins. And here's Craig Hodges, who we were telling you about. What a find is a third round draft choice. Now in his third year. And I'll tell you, you know, I talked about Cummings coming back home and playing here tonight. Didn't mention anything about Hodges, but he has the same situation. Every reason why a lot of these players, when they come in here, there has to be a thrilling experience. I would imagine his family is in the stands, family and friends, watching him here tonight. Hodges with a dozen, and he has looked great. And the Bucks have their largest lead of this game. They try to take advantage to get the ball to Michael Jordan. Now he's got Kevin Gravy on him. Get him the ball, let him do a few things. There he is, kicks it out to Woolridge, and heavy traffic goes up. He was hammered, hit right in the head. All right, the Bulls are going to have to learn this uh, to get it to the young man. He's got Grevy on him. They took out Sidney Moncrief, the defensive player here. Now, look at this. He's got two men at him, sailing out of bounds. He gives you an easy two points to the free throw line if you can convert. Yeah, Brewer got the foul. That's his first. And to the line goes Woolridge, and he knocks down that first one. That's his first point here in the second quarter. He has eight for the night. And the Bulls pull back within three. Uh, we had the whistle sound just as the free throw was taken. Somebody in, in the lane too quickly for the Bulls, and so the ball goes over. By the way, is that registered as a missed free throw? Yep. 43 for the Bucks. 40 for the Bulls. Come to think of it, I don't think it would be, would it? Sure. You awarded two free throws, you come away with one point. Eh? Yeah. McKeskey, a jump shot from the baseline. Puts it in. McKeskey knocks it down. And Woolridge back at the other end. Oh, those firing. are the, gee, those are the shots you don't want. Yes. And we bail out of it. Steve Beautiful. Johnson managed to get the rebound and keep it alive. Helped the cause a little bit there for the Bulls. Well, you don't want to come down and cast up that first shot. Again, you got to get the ball to your, your guy that can get you some yeah. points. The operators, the guys who can do it, and get Woolridge down there where he can get you some points. Hodges, low feed McKeskey's in there deep. Jordan blocked the shot right out of bounds. Steve Johnson held his ground beautifully, and Jordan came in from the back. All right, McKeskey looking at his man, and watch Jordan come in and just wipe it out. Inbounds McKeskey, fires a long one. Nope, Matthews, the smallest man on the floor at 6-1, grabbed the rebound. Oh, head and Steve Johnson.
Johnson was on the break and just couldn't control it. Oh, he was wide, way out in front of everybody. Matthews let him have the ball, hit him right in the hands, maybe the wrong place on that break. Yeah. It's the Bucks by three. Matthews tried for the steal, knocked out of bounds. Gravy was pinned in over near that far sideline. Here it is. There's the pass down, out in front of everybody, off his hands and out of bounds. Cummings with the inbounds pass as we return live. Cummings, he'll go up. Corzine was on him tightly. He missed the shot. Corzine really had a hand in his face. Here comes Woolridge. Driving, goes around behind the back. Lost <laughs> out of bounds. And the Bulls have it back. It was last hit by Gravy. Oh, got caught up in a little showtime. <laughs> uh, it's not showtime yet. Yeah. For not yet. Team. Not yet. It's too early in the game. Inbounds. Jordan, he fires. He hits. Michael Jordan again for the Bulls, and he has 15 points for the half. First half of play with 425 left, and it's the Bulls trailing the Milwaukee Bucks by a point. Brewer hands it back to Hodges. Matthews covering Hodges. Hodges sits and fires. Corzine with a rebound. He's gotten a couple of key rebounds here in the last few moments. Matthews. Oh, he is quick, isn't he? He'll fire from there. No, it wouldn't go down. The fans really ooing and eyeing there, and Cummings took a hand in the face on that rebound. Oh, that's on Jordan, and that's a delayed whistle. Well, I tell you, that, he didn't even see that. Oaks did not even see what happened until Cummings went down. I watch his shot. It's going to be a swing at the ball here. All right, he just swings at the ball and catches him across the face. And until Cummings went down with the ball, the official had no idea what had happened. Michael Jordan leaves. Now Higgins comes in. The Bulls trail by one, 45-44. So Jordan is on the bench. Rod Higgins replaces him, and he will cover Montreve now for... Uh, All right, you see right away, as soon as he went out, Nelson comes back in with Montreve. Right in with Montreve. I don't think anybody can handle him. He is darn tough to handle. Here he is. He got open around a screen, but an illegal screen was thrown in there by McKeskey who really knocked Higgins uh, almost uh, right. into the Lake Michigan. Bill, let's take a look now and see if the Bulls have any half-court offense. Now, this is what they've got to be able to concentrate on, getting something down low. Matthews up top. They reverse it. Woolridge into the lane, driving through, and he gets the hook. That's where you want to get it from. You know, the Bucks are going to give you the outside shot. you got to get it in now. Inside. Bulls take the lead by a point, and a timeout will be taken at 20. 20-second timeout to be taken by the Bucks here as they'll go ahead and talk it over, and they take their allotted 20 for the half. We will uh, remind you that coming up on Sports Vision, we hope you're going to be with us because we have a night of the National Hockey League, and it starts at 6.30 with Sports Probe, followed by the NHL preview at 7 p.m., and then we'll have for you the feature of the evening, the Blackhawks taking on the Minnesota North Stars. We'll have all the play-by-play -play action for you coming up. That'll be right here on Sports Vision. So don't run away. Pat Foley and uh, Dale Talon will be providing all the play-by-play -play action right here. There are some fans who, a lot more smiles on the faces, I would think, this year, right around here than we saw in, uh, certainly last year. And what was a challenging year for everybody, including the announcers. Cummings with a backdoor move. Boy, he ran hard into Steve Johnson. Now what happened here? A delayed whistle again. What, what happened here? He blew, he blew the whistle. It didn't work, is what he was saying. He's, Kevin is all over. He says, I blew the whistle, and the whistle came out of my mouth. There it is. All right. Now watch Mike Mathis. He waves the foul right away. He just did the whistle. He had the whistle in his hand. It looked like instead of his mouth. So Ke Cummings will shoot. Steve Johnson draws the foul, his second. And Cummings, who has 11 points on the night, is three for four from the foul line to the moment. It's another one. He has a dozen. Terry Cummings played at Carver High School, was the rookie of the year in this league when he came in. He surprised a lot of people. Coming out of DePaul, nobody was really sure how he would play in the National Basketball Association. But the game was very suited for his talents. And uh, he has performed beautifully. High score. There was a backdoor feed for Woolridge, and Moncrief smelled it out and stole the ball away. Moncrief to McKeskey. And Moncrief walked as he started to make his move in. He got caught in a situation there where he uh, dragged his foot. Ball goes over, and Enos Watley comes back in. Matthews. 
That's the story here from courtside at Chicago Stadium. They just had a little announcement. We knew, of course, earlier that David Stern, the commissioner of the NBA, was going to be in the stands tonight. And we should remind everybody, too, you want to stick around at halftime because David will be the Johnny Kerr's guest uh, here at halftime. Any Anybody in any office gets booed when they're in the That's right. They did boo David Stern for the record. Walridge driving. And Brewer, I believe it was, wasn't it? The big man standing there. Yeah. You know, it's hard to fake him out. He stands there. Now watch him. He doesn't get up. He stands there. He stands there. He comes up. Cressy comes back in now. Terry Cummings will leave. They did indeed give the foul to Brewer, and that's the story of how Milwaukee has stayed in this game, really, with an outstanding performance from their bench. Well, we gave that bench again uh, in the scouting report uh, to Milwaukee for this game. Q being out. Yeah, right on the money then, I guess. Although Wes Matthews, I think, playing yeah, he's the got Bulls five. bench has he's got all of them. Sensational job. Dozen points for Woolridge now, and the Bulls are right back on top in this game by a pair. The bench has performed well for Milwaukee. The starters for the Bulls have performed well. Moncrief's covered by Rod Higgins right now. And Dunleavy's been picked up by Enos Watley. It's kind of a motion offense. Pressy rolled around and finally went in. Paul Pressy, it took him a long time to get on the board, but he finally has his first two points of the game, and we're tied again at 48. Approaching the two-minute mark, remaining in the first half. Johnson, McKeskey is on him. Feed to Corzine, deep with Brewer on him. Stripped out of his hands as he went up. Out of bounds, Dunleavy made the steal. And uh, Sidney Green comes back in. Steve Johnson to the bench for the Bulls. Out of bounds, Bulls. Woolridge, deep release pass to Wiley. Seven seconds to shoot. Woolridge spinning, puts it up, blocked in the air by McKeskey. Time running out, out of bounds, Milwaukee. Wouldn't have mattered anyway, the Bulls could not have gotten off a shot in that limited time. Yeah. Don Nelson of the Bucks setting up the play. Dunleavy brings it across. This is more of a setup team than we've seen out of Milwaukee in recent years. Pressy in the drive, and that was a nice move. Orlando Woolridge had him tight out in front, and he just wheeled right around him down the lane. He gets two quick hoops to put his team up. Bucks by a pair. This has been a relatively seesaw game, although the Bulls have been out in front most of the time. Corzine, a post up. Would go. Sidney Green on the foul over the back of McKeskey as he tried to keep the ball alive, and Sidney has his first. Shot by Dave Corzini, took it in close, catches a little bit of glass and over the top, and McKeskey comes green, he'll walk the long way down. McKeskey will shoot himself a one and one, or shoot two free throws. McKeskey weighs 265 pounds. He could be a very good defensive end. If you take a look at Sidney Green, who is trying to challenge him up there. This guy could be a good defensive end in professional football. He has the beef. What you need now on uh, the Bulls' end of the court, uh, Bill, is you've got to run some set plays if they've got them. You got to, You cannot let this group out here freelance. You've got to run some set plays, try to get something down low, get a screen, get a good shot. Everybody knows what's going on. They should be out rebound, but they, when it, they, they have to know what they're going to do offensively. And McKeskey knocks that second one down. So now it is uh, Buck's four-point lead. And Watley at the timeline kicks it across to Higgins, penetrating, lob pass, Woolridge down low, faking, tried to go up, and he was really blasted right along that baseline. And Markeski gets it. That's his third. So Woolridge gets to the line. All right, watch Rod Higgins break down the lane. He tries uh, to get it over the top to Orlando Woolridge. Woolridge fakes, fakes, everybody up in the air, seven foot four, seven foot one, six foot six. Down Orlando makes his fifth free throw of the evening. He has 13. Mikeski picked up his third foul. He leaves, Whoa. and uh, who Lister came back for him. Well, I tell you, this Milwaukee team can really roll them in, one big guy after the next. And then they've uh, they've rotated their uh, small men. Very well. Yeah, they have. Walridge now has 13 points at the Bucks by three. Down to a minute and a quarter left here in the second quarter. Sidney Moncrief. Nope. Looked like that one rolled off of his hand a little bit. Green outlets to Watley. Driving. Oh, and he laid it up beautifully. Kind of had to lean back while he was in the air in a rocker-type motion, and Watley has six. Bulls pull within a point. Dunleavy. Pressing. Low feed Lister. He's dangerous in there. Under a minute left. Down to 50 seconds. The hook shot goes in. And Lister has five, and the Bulls trail by three. 
Watley to Woolridge. Pulls up and takes it. Gets it. Woolridge with a 15-point first half. Now ties Jordan for Chicago scoring honors. And leading score on the floor. Pressy driving in. Leaned in. Offensive foul. And the Bulls get it back with 34 seconds left in the half. And that is four on Pressy. He comes in, makes the move. He's got O back pedaling, tries to jump into the lane, and a lot of players get this call, but Pressy is not going to receive it tonight. 34 seconds to go. Bulls with a chance to take the lead. Inbounds pass. Watley will bring it across. They may want to get a quick shot here. And going in was Watley. He's called for an offensive foul. Watley with his second. I was thinking they might want a quick shot here because there were only 29 seconds left in the half. Yep. It was blocked by Lister. And that's when the offensive foul was called as he charged into Lister. Now there is a five second difference between the clocks. Five seconds between the clocks. The Bulls should have the last shot of the quarter. Dunleavy driving on Watley. Seven seconds to shoot. Lister with six. Nope. Tipped around. Green. Woolridge got it. Seven seconds. Here is Watley with four seconds. Three seconds. A long one. Nope. And the Bucks will take a lead into the locker room here at the half. And it has been a very, very competitive first half of play. You see the Bulls players, including their newest player, walking off of the floor, West Matthews. And we remind you to stay with us at half because, first of all, Johnny will be visiting with the new commissioner of the National Basketball Association, David Stern. I'll be back to review the NBA news and highlights, and then Johnny and I will be reviewing the first half. Our score at the half, the Milwaukee Bucks leading by a point just yet but you add one or two more well, on to that Brewer could be in trouble if they lose him they should you know they've still got Mokeski yeah. they've got uh, blah 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 to come Lester, after, you know? they got bangers they yeah. certainly do they're loaded with them there we go Bulls have the same starting lineup that began the game the Milwaukee Bucks have Mokeski in a forward spot in place of Pressy other than that it's the same starting lineup for the Bucks that began the game here is Jordan in fairly close missed on the shot Mokeski has the rebound one of the Bulls players appeared to go flying, and Jordan almost stole it, was turning around, and Dunleavy got it back. Cummings, it was pinned against the board by Caldwell Jones on a nice job. Jordan with the outlet. Feeds it for Johnson, and hit traffic, bounced over the end line, the Bulls have it back. Just underway in the third quarter. And the Bulls will be attacking here. Warridge, deep release to Watley. Dunleavy's covering him. Woolridge covered by Cummings, and he shoots right over him, and Woolridge takes the scoring lead with 17. And the Bulls, Watley putting on backcourt pressure here. Man for man against Dunleavy. Want to force him to work hard to get the ball up the floor. Feed to Cummings, the turnaround. He was fouled. Let's see who got it. Was it Watley from the back? Yeah. And that's his third. First team foul, and Cummings gets to the line. Looked like it was pretty well defended there, Red. Perhaps not a well, very wise foul. Yeah, see, they talk about double teaming a guy. Now, when he goes in the post here, if you're going to double team him, the little man can't come from the back. He's got to go up and get sort of a foot position to force him out of his, his shot. Because Cummings is going to take that shot if he gets the ball down low. Cummings misfires on the first free throw and continues to sit at that point total. About a minute old here in the third quarter. Cummings once again has 13 now. And that breaks, uh, creates a tie situation at 55 apiece. The Bulls in the forecourt. We've had a number of ties in this game. Been close. Bulls have led probably the majority of the first half. Oh, what a behind-the-back pass by Steve Johnson. And Watley got a very easy basket out of it. Good job. Boy, that was a perfect feed from Steve Johnson. You won't see a better feed than that one was as he went behind the back. Now, Dunleavy left his man, and uh, in his while he did what he was supposed to do. He went right to the hoop, and he got the pass back. There is Cummings. Woolridge is on him. Cummings misses the shot. Tipped out Steve Johnson. Here's Watley. He has Woolridge on his left, Jordan on his right. Jordan's driving. My goodness, if he would have put that in, that certainly would have been on the highlight reel. <laughs> out of bounds. Let's see who got it. Boy, Milwaukee. Take a look at this basket by Jordan. Uh, he loses control. He doesn't think he's going to get the ball. He has to reach out for it. Now he's got to dive between two players, lays it up off the glass, and just 
This is a great shot. He put a tremendous amount of English on that. He almost got that ball down. Bakeski. Out to Montreal. My shot, I think, was blocked by Jordan. I think Jordan got a hand on it in the air. Oh, uh, they're oh. going to say Johnson committed the foul. Oh, and when he came down at top, he came down at Terry Cummings. A tough play for Steve Johnson. Jonathan Colbert sitting up there. He's very upset at that ball. That's the third personal on Steve Johnson. All right, here's the shot missed by Moncrief. Well, let's get back to live action here. Okay, this is it. There's the shot. Steve Johnson blocking Mokeski. Oh, well, he gave him a little hand. Caldwell Jones has called for a foul on the ensuing inbounds play. Dunleavy feeds it low. Here's Lister. Oh, boy. Three fouls right in a row now. Steve Johnson, Caldwell Jones, and uh, who was Wiley, that? Wiley, I think, got that one. That's his fourth. And that may bring Wes Matthews right back off of the bench. Bulls have picked up three quick team fouls just yeah. in this one sequence. Yeah. And Jawan Oldham comes off of the Bulls bench. All right, the move to the center. He comes back. He gets pushed on the hip. Alton Lister went to the line and missed the first free throw. He has one more, as Wes Matthews, we mentioned, might come back in. One left. Indeed, he got off of the bench, and so he's in the lineup now for the Bulls. Watley goes to the bench. One more for Lister. Missed them both. And Juwan Oldham uh, kind of tipped the ball out. Didn't really get a good handle on it, but the Bulls able to get the rebound. Matthews looking for Jordan down low, and the whistle sounds coming. That's on Lister. <laughs> oh, you're right. Lister. Boy, oh, boy. Bang, bang, bang. Now they're calling. They're trying to open this up, not let it get to be a shoving match. Warridge will inbound, and uh, Juwan Oldham comes up to take the ball. Here is Matthews. Dunleavy's going to give him room to shoot out there. Here's Jordan. Penetrating. Throws it up. Oh, it almost went in. And the rebound comes out to Cummings. Here come the Bucks, three on four. Dunleavy coming in the corner. Sidney Moncrief went up. Basket, an unbelievable shot. You heard the, the hand slap. And Moncrief got it in somehow. That's Jordan's fourth foul. There's the pass by uh, Terry Cummings. He goes down, hesitates, goes up hard, and uh, Juwan Holden went up through the basket. That should that should be too automatic, but uh, the ball is hit by Michael Jackson from the back. You saw the hand go through the net. Moncrief puts that third one in. And Moncrief now has 13 points for the game. Matthews brings it across at the 9-20 mark in the third. And the Bulls now trail by a pair. Now we have a whistle, illegal defensive warning, this time called against the Milwaukee Bucks. Look at the coaches, I love it. Don Nelson's got his hand. Who, what, us, what? We, we don't do that. No, look at him, not me. You'll never yeah. catch me doing yeah. something like I don't that. zone. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my players, look at, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Jordan's got to leave. Jordan, Jordan comes out and Higgins comes on now for the Bulls. So you have Matthews and Higgins. Higgins will operate as a big guard. And this is a, an untested backcourt arrangement to say the least. Here's Higgins, low feed to Steve Johnson. Look for Higgins as the cutter. Now he'll put it on the floor to Matthews. Let's it go and hit. Well, they double teamed him. You saw Moncrief come over and double team him, but Matthews knocks it in. He's got seven. So Matthews ties the score once again in this Bulls Bucks rematch. That game in Milwaukee was tight two nights ago. And we've had the same situation here. Lister with a swinging hook and managed to put it up and in over Jawan Oldham, who was challenging him. Lister with seven. And it's the Bucks by a pair. Matthews in the forecourt. Lister is coming. Jawan Oldham at the high post. Here's Higgins going out, and an offensive foul called on Jawan Oldham. 33. Setting an illegal screen. Well, his job is to stand still and let Higgins go off of him. His job is not to move and hook the guy. But he comes up with the foul. So the Bulls give the ball up, and Dunleavy with Matthews on him. They've done a good job of keeping pressure on Dunleavy, but he hasn't turned the ball over much. And a three-second violation called on Lister, who got caught in the lane, and he couldn't get out. And the Bulls have stagnated here now. This has become a very ragged quarter for the, through the first four minutes. 
Haven't been many points scored this quarter. It was 54-53 bucks at the half. Here's Steve Johnson low. He went up. Traveling call. And the Bulls turn it over again. And Randy Brewer, the seven foot three inch Minnesota standout, comes on as you see Steve Johnson, who has called for that traveling violation. That's Brewer who's coming in. To the bench goes Alden Lister. So now you have seven three, seven feet one, and six nine across the Bucks front line. Bulls have scored six points in about four minutes. Yeah, it's been a long time, a long drive for both of these teams. Moncrief kicks it out, McKeskey out of his range. Dunleavy, that's in his range. Mike Dunleavy, that's his first two points of the game. And now the Bucks by four. This ties their largest lead. Four and a half minutes old here in the third quarter. Matthews on a nice backdoor cut to the hoop. And did Steve Johnson hit him with a great pass? That's the second nice pass by Steve Johnson. And then he turned his head again, and he got caught underneath. He paid the penalty. Even Steven on the turnovers are pretty close. Nice move by Woolridge. He tipped the ball away. Out of bounds. And Milwaukee has it with 13 to shoot. Cummings will toss it in underneath the Bulls' basket. Montre spinning. Oh, he can swirl like a top, can he? Brewer. Under heavy pressure. Lukeski. Oh, man, he almost brought the rim down. He has eight. Got a nice beat in there from Dunleavy. And Mokeski, with 264 pounds of beef, really jammed that one down. Woolridge trying to back Cummings down. He'll take the shot. Tipped in by Steve Johnson. Well, they're going to give you that shot. Oh, you got to learn why they're giving it to you because <laughs> you don't hit that with regularity in a tough situation down by four. It's a two-point Bucks lead. Montreep in the forecourt. Dunleavy. Montesky looking inside. Kicked across to Montreep. Higgins is guarding him. That's the shot. And McKeskey muscles in there. Tipped in by Brewer. Oh, beating. Beating on the board. That's where that size advantage has really showed itself right here. Jawan Oldham, a seven-footer, could not screen Brewer away. Matthews. Woolridge flashes high. Cummings tried for the steal. Woolridge drives. It went in. Hey, oh. Woolridge with 19 points for the night. And the Bulls pull back within two as we're at the halfway minute, halfway mark of the third quarter. Cummings being covered by Woolridge. Thriller kicks it. Three-pointer, and it's there. Dunleavy drops it in, and he has five. Good coaching, good ball movement now by the Bucks. They're just hitting the open man. They're not pounding the ball. They're just banging it around where they want to hit the open man. Let him fire it. And the Bucks lead it by five. Here's Matthews, top of the key. Driving in traffic. Sashay's up there, fighting for the rebound. Matthews went down hard. Foul. McKeskey got it. The big bruiser for the Bucks, one of many muscle men that the Bucks have had on the floor here tonight. Timeout on the floor, 527 left in the third, and it's the Bucks by five. Well, the Bucks have taken a lead here and have stretched it out to five points. This is their largest lead of the game to the moment. And I guess it's been in part due to the performance of guys like Paul McKeskey right there who've been banging the boards, keeping it alive, and field goal shooting. Yeah, the Bucks. To three more oh, points from the right, line, from the and line, uh, yeah. Bulls got in trouble really quickly. It's five to two in fouls. It's five and twenty-five to play here. Common foul out of bounds. Woolridge driving all the way in. Oh, and he got hammered hard by McKeskey as he took it to the hole. Brewer blocked, rejected the shot out of there. That's his fifth on McKeskey. Now, I know that's tough duty, okay, to do, but that's what you've got to do when you get these big guys go up and Oak and hang. He does it, comes down. Brewer makes the block. McKeskey gets his fifth foul, and Lister's going to come back in the game. But Orlando's going to be rewarded by a couple free throws. So Woolrich, who will hit 20 if he gets one of these two, he is at 20 points for the night. And uh, Lister comes in. McKeskey to the bench. Says Orlando up over his uh, scoring average from a year ago, but tonight he came in through two games averaging 28 and a half a game. He has been exceptional. He looks like he's headed for another game just like that. He has 21. The Bulls pull within three. Brewer trapping pressure underneath. 
Let's see whose hand it hit. Bulls get it back. It, I think it hit Lister's hand in there and bounced away. Bulls put on some pressure that time, Red. Well, the Bulls, you can see, are disappointed with their two key centers. Uh, they're down to Juwan Olam going with him and using a pressure defense. They trail by uh, three points there. Warridge to Matthews. Gets it over. Warridge driving on Cummings. Goes up over him. Nope. Juwan Oldham tried for the tip. Moncrief ahead to Dunleavy. Driving behind the back to Cummings. What a nice feed. Cummings with 15. And boy, did Dunleavy put that right on the money. You know, the transition just wasn't there to miss shot and the way they went. Five points for Bucks lead. Higgins, nice low feed. Steve Johnson jams it through, and he has a dozen. He's a forgotten member of this club. He's got 12 points, and uh, he's got him in a hard-working fashion. He's got Johnson. a couple nice assists. Right now, he's covering Brewer. He's given up five and a half inches to Brewer. Dunleavy with Wes Matthews on him. Brewer sets the screen, then rolls to the hoop, goes to Moncrief. Nope. Cummings with a rebound under there, and he's hacked. Inside, he's just... Uh, but well, Woolridge lost coming somewhere yeah. in there. Steve Johnson had to take the foul. All right, here's the shot. You go up now. All right, Johnson's got his man blocked out. Terry Cummings comes right under the inside. And the bonus is in effect. So Cummings now gets the line. First one's in. Cummings has had a relatively silent quarter here, Red. He's only scored four now. 12 at the half. And there's the story on his free throw performance. Nope. Six for 10 now with that miss. And the Bulls are looking at a four point deficit as they come into the four court. Wes Matthews. Dunleavy picks him up. And we had a whistle away from the ball. That's Brewer. <laughs> he was trying to hold away from the ball brewer has his third. you know you don't call those fouls I, you gotta believe that they want to get the bulls in a hurry up situation to get i mean to get the bucks in a foul situation so they don't have to make a call in the last two minutes reset the shot clock the ball was out of half court when yeah it. yeah that's right and it was away from the ball it was under the hoop jawan oldham out on the way woolridge up top 14 seconds to shoot woolridge driving through he's called for traveling in heavy traffic and the ball goes over Bucks have it back with a four-point lead. They can expand it if they should score here. Dunleavy, they would have their largest lead of the game. Dunleavy threw it away. Cummings was trying to lean into his man. The pass was thrown the other way. Well, they cleared the side. Cummings posted up, but uh, you're right. Dunleavy just let him too much and put it out of bounds. In the four quarters, Matthews. Dunleavy, he gives him some room. Higgins will shoot it and hits it. Rod Higgins. He's not a great shooter, but he knocked that one in. He has about, I would imagine, about average shooting skills for the NBA, which is a darn good shooter anywhere else. But he turned right around and hit that one, and it's a two-point Bucks lead. Coming. Dunleavy. Is that a three? Nope, but Brewer was there. Brewer with a left-handed tap off the board. Boy, he's just a tall kind of a guy. Tough to move him around under there. He just, uh, even if he gets close, he can oh, cross. But offensive foul. What was this? Jawan Oldham, I think. No, down low. Rod Higgins, down low, uh, trying to set a screen and run away from uh, his man, uh, Moncrief, and uh, he ends up with the foul. Full time, so we hope he will be with us for that. Bucks with the inbounds pass. It is Milwaukee by four right now. Oh, you see all those great players coming up on Sports Vision. Isaiah Thomas, Dan Roundfield, they've added to that cast of outstanding players, Bill Lane Beer, Trapuca, all the other great players that they have. And we have an offensive foul call. Push off. It's called on Lister. Boy, the centers, the big guys getting those fouls. They're down there beating on people. They're really piling them up. It's an offensive foul that does not count as a team foul, so it's still the Bulls are not in the bonus at 229. Matthews on the attack. You know, look, he's waiting for Woolridge to pop out. Now Higgins comes out, goes up over his man, front rims it, tipped around, and the Bucks come out with it. Ahead to Moncrief, driving on Matthews, and gets the hoop. Six points, the lead for the Milwaukee Bucks. And now that is their largest lead of the night. And the Bulls have to be careful here. They don't want this thing to get away from them. Have everybody high. A lot of room on the baseline for somebody to operate. Woolridge. And a blocking foul. This away from the ball also, it appeared. And this on Brewer. 
And Brewer is piling him up. He has four. Uh, Brewer is playing uh, Dave Corzine very, very tight. He knows Corzine can shoot from the outside, and uh, Corzine set a screen at the top of the key, and uh, as Higgins tried to come through, Brewer just gave him a little shot. Sidney Green returns to the Bulls lineup. If you take a look at him as Steve Johnson will go to the bench. This is the best offense the Bulls have had uh, right now getting to the free throw line. Yeah, indeed. That's what's held them in this game. Rod Higgins steps to the line. You saw Paul Pressey go right in front of him. He just came into the Bucks lineup. Hodges also just came in. Here is Higgins. Nope, not that time. Rod Higgins going after his third point. Did not get it. He'll try again. And this time it's there. Three points for Rod, and it is a 77-72 Bucks lead. Milwaukee in the forecourt. Pressey. Woolridge is covering him. Now Woolridge is well out on the open floor. Moncrief driving, puts it way up in the air, tried to lob it. Now in heavy traffic. A tie ball. Brewer. And uh, as Coach Don Nelson looks on, Brewer and Sidney Green will be stepping in. There's Michael Jordan coming back on the floor now for the Bulls. And Moncrief drives to the hoop. The ball goes off the board and Brewer just comes in and gets tied up here now and Brewer wins the tap uh, lane violation in there who gets the lane Barzine was in the lane they <laughs> roll in the boobers you know that Tommy Edwards would have to mention his name if yeah. they didn't know who it was they would have said nothing but <laughs> <laughs> all right the official puts it down and says somebody throw it in and the Bucks finally do so Nobody wanted to grab the ball, and the uh, official, Bill Oak, just put it down on the floor and said, all right, I'll just count to five. Moncrief tossed it in. Here's Brewer to the turnaround. Nope. And the rebound came down to Lister. Jordan couldn't control it. Moncrief. Oh, and he put it in over the top of Matthews. Sidney Moncrief, who has 17, and he's played a well, good team. This game. club has got some horses to get the ball back off the board. They're not going to set any fast break records, but... They're beefy, aren't they? Here's Montreal stealing it from Jordan. Look out. Nice move. Well, I don't know. He uh, just went in. Uh, Matthews didn't do anything to stop him. Yeah. <laughs> he, but he did fake. He did fake the slam, and Matthews wanted no part of that. Bucks by nine. And the Bulls find themselves on the ropes here a little bit. Almost stolen. The Bulls have to go back and reload now. Ten to nine seconds. Jordan need a basket quickly. Six seconds on the shot clock. Jordan misses. Hold him. Tipped it in. Rather on the tip. Boy, did he get up there on that. Orlando way over the rim. He has 23, and the Bulls very much needed that basket. Pressy driving in and gets the hoop as he came down on Carzine. Pressy just stayed uh, Orlando alive that time. Again, he makes that move from the uh, from the guard position. And Matthews trying to drive toward the hoop. Got the ball stripped, foul call, and it was on Hodges. Frank Hodges will draw the foul as Kevin Lockery. Probably a little bit concerned about the uh, developments here in these last. Uh, look at this. Hodges has one foul. Uh, Dunleavy has one foul. Moncrief one foul. But then you look at their big people. They've got them all. Yeah. Their, their guards have stayed out of trouble. The Bulls have not had an exceptional quarter of basketball this third quarter. I'll tell you that. Ten points for West Matthews. Did not play Saturday after being added to the roster with the injury to Ronnie Lester. But Matthews is very quick. And he really has looked it. If he hits this free throw, and he does, that cuts the lead to seven for Milwaukee. And Matthews with 11. That's the story now. You see the uh, game clock inserted in the corner of the screen, so you can see time remaining. Bulls should have the last possession here. Fields wide open, lays it up and in. Fields, who just came on, and the Bulls now will try to hold for a shot. The shot clock has been turned off. Fields has seven points. Watch a double. They're going to come and double him right away. Matthews with 10. Here they come. Yep. Now they kick it across. Barzine to Matthews. Four seconds. Matthews at three seconds. Fields with a rebound. One second. The horn sounds before a long three-quarter court throw by Hodges. And so the Milwaukee Bucks have taken control here. They have a nine-point lead at the end of three. It's a nine-point Milwaukee lead here going into the third quarter, and here's part of the reason why. Look at this basket by Cummings. Uh, he's going to get an easy drop pass from Mike Dunleavy as he follows it up. He comes in, rolls it off the glass with the left, or off the rim with the left hand, 
And now we'll take a look uh, at Orlando Woolridge. There's a shot by Michael Jordan uh, trying to beat the 24 second clock and a high uh, left handed tip stuff by O. That was a highlight of that quarter. Bulls outscored, were outscored by the Bucks, 31 to 23. The Bulls in their pivot have a grand total of two points between Dave Corzine and Caldwell Jones tonight. That has not helped the cause. Pressy kicks it. Hodges, a head fake. Nope. Lowridge up there for the rebound. Seals it off. And the Bulls will try to cut into a nine-point deficit. They have work to do. First minute of the fourth quarter. Have taken control here in the third. Low feed to Woolridge. Double teamed. Here's Jordan coming around. He's open. Nope. Corzine with a rebound. Kicks it out. Jordan inside. Cross court pass. And Jordan puts it up and in. Jordan now has 17 points. He went scoreless in the third quarter, much of which he sat on the bench. And that's what happens when Jordan isn't able to get in there. See how the Bucks took control of things in that third quarter. And that's the situation comparing the halves. Very even first half, and the Bucks have taken control to the moment. Why the Bulls really missing Quinton Daly. They are indeed. They miss his firepower. Montreal for the miss. And the Bulls fighting for the rebound, and Sidney Green and Woolridge combined to get it. Bulls can cut it down to five if they score here. Here's Corzine. Brewer on him. Bulls have to work hard tonight. Quinton Daly is really missed. Jordan. Is able to pull it down. Sidney Green tried for the steal and couldn't get it. That's more walking up. Had a nice little pump shot in there. A little hard off the yep. glass. Just a little hard off of the glass. Uh, you know that Quentin Daly would be hitting a lot of big shots here. 20 second timeout is going to be taken. Don Nelson saw something he didn't like and decided that uh, he would take 20 here to check with his team about it. It's eight seconds on that clock. Oh, to generate a quick shot. So, we're in the second minute of play, 10-15 remaining in regulation here in the fourth quarter. You know, the Bulls uh, make that that one basket. Now they come back. If they can make the other one, the crowd started to pick it up. You know, you can feel them getting ready. If the Bulls make a little charge here, the uh, sixth man could come very important. In a, uh, uh, be a factor here. I thought the Bulls in this third quarter of this game were as silent, silent as I've seen them this yeah. year. The young Bulls, I've seen all three of the regular season games to the moment. Tough team to work again. And again, yeah. your one guy that you, you expect to give you a lot of scoring off the bench is not here, Quentin Daly. Brewer lost the ball. The Bulls get it back. Now they can cut it to five, and those fans did appear to be coming to life. Woolridge driving, covered by Fields. Stripped away, out of bounds. Bulls with 16 seconds to shoot. Here's the story on the third quarter, and look at the shooting by Milwaukee. And the rebounding. Turnovers, Bulls six to four. Sidney Green knocks one in. As the Bulls score, and Sidney has four, and they've cut it to a five-point Bucks lead. And these fans are starting to really come to life. Yeah, they want to get in the game. We heard this in the season opener against the Washington Bullets. The fans, nearly 14,000 of them here at the stadium, really came alive. Pass inside, Green knocked it out of bounds. With seven seconds to shoot, the Bucks have it back. Sidney Green playing in the passing lane. There's some of the fans, uh, probably in the neighborhood of 10 or 11,000 here tonight. Fields with the inbounds pass. Terry Cummings gets a screen from Brewer. Here's Hodges, lets it go just as the clock expired. The rebound, Pressy, and the Bulls get, have to play defense for 24 more seconds as the Bucks reload it. Oh, you have to get that rebound. Coming, nice move. You can't give him too many shots at the hoop, can you? No, you sure can't. Not a team like that has the type of firepower that Cummings provides. Parzine high. Now Jordan. Jordan covered by Fields. Down another point. Right, he comes, he gets it from Michael Jordan. He floats through one man, goes up after he gets the bump. I think Fields was the guy with the yep. foul. Off the glass and in, and Woolridge lighting up the fans and the, and the scoreboard. Missed it. Parzee nearly kept it alive. But Milwaukee comes out with it. Nice feed by Hodges and Cummings with an easy one. He has 20. Terry Cummings. Returning home to the stadium to haunt his uh, local team. 
Born and raised in this area. Here's Woolridge driving on Brewer. Takes it up through the foul from Brewer, trying to stop him. And Brewer now has five. He's on the ropes. 8.41 left. Orlando just driving to his left, trying to get in close to the hoop, hanging in the air. Boy, Woolridge, uh, he must have heard what you said, Red, because he's going <laughs> to the hoop about as strongly as he can. Woolridge now is 26. From the foul line, he has not had one of his best nights. But he has 26, knocks that second one down, now has 27 points on the night. And the Bulls have cut it to a five-point game. Pressy kicked inside for Cummings, lost it. Corzine tipped the ball away. And the Bulls can cut it to three if they score here. Watley, Sidney Green driving. Underneath, Corzine goes up for it. Foul. Hey, look at what Skull attending here was pinned on the glass. I think it was Hodges who got it. Good pass by Sidney Green. Corzine goes up in the air, gets whacked. The ball is pinned up on the glass. I think it was Hodges who got the foul. It would be his third. So that puts Corzine on the line. With a chance to help his cause. He, to this moment, has not scored in this game. He's right there with it. We have Alton Lister back into the lineup now for the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bulls have sent in Steve Johnson. And that has put, uh, well, let's see, Sidney Green on the bench. So it's now Johnson and Woolridge up front, Corzine in the middle, and uh, Enos Watley. Corzine hits them both, and it cuts it to a three-point game now. Cummings in the forecourt. Cummings driving. Pressy. Lester. Moncrief with a head pick. Tries to get around Jordan in heavy traffic. Foul, loose ball, foul, who's it on? 33, Steve Johnson. Boy, did it take Oaks a long time. It I'll sure did. You, I'll tell you, take a look at it. Shot goes up by Moncrief. He misses it underneath his... All right, he pushed Cummings off. And, right, take a look at it. It is Watney underneath. Looks like Watney had the ball free. Steel oh, makes Jordan. Away. Jordan coming up the court, driving all the way. Mike Mathis, two on one, three on one, and hammered as he was driving was Moncrief. Steve Johnson took him out with a hammer blow. All right, and that's what you have to do, be able to take a guy so he doesn't get the layup. Now, not hurt him, but don't give him that little duck shot. Johnson goes up and makes sure that that ball comes down and uh, walking to the line is Moncrief. Foul on Johnson. I have that as his... Uh, you have it as number four, Red? There is Moncrief. Missed it. Could have helped his cause right there. Moncrief to the moment has not scored in the quarter. Sidney Green uh, comes he's in. He's slipping on that ankle, too, and that's the one that he had heard at that big men's camp in the summer. Yep. So the Bulls are really short-handed here, Red. They're, they're down a couple of players. Moncrief got that second one to go in. Rarely does he miss two in a row. He has 20 points now for the night. And now it is a 90-86 game. The Bulls hang in their top. But they're playing without Quinn Daly tonight. Woolridge. Here's the Jordan. The ball taken away from him. Moncrief driving, going in. And a nice move. He has 22. You know, Moncrief is guarding Michael Jordan, and he's just anticipating the pass that's going to come to him. Yep. And they're in the... The Bulls are just laying the ball right out there for the steal. Indeed, he's stepping up in the passing lane and he's picking those slow passes off. That's what makes him the all-defensive player of the year. Indeed, six points, the Bucks lead. Jordan, oh, and Pressy ran into him. Here's Woolridge driving, lays it up and in. Woolridge now has 29 points and the Bulls claw back within four. Well, you get the feeling that the Bulls could get a run going, this stadium would really fully erupt. They're just ready to come to their feet. Cummings, a fake, driving, misses the shot. Cummings got his own board. Goes again. You can't give him two shots. 22 points for Cummings, and again, the lead six points for Milwaukee. 
We're down under seven minutes remaining in the Bulls. We'll take a timeout. They're first here in the fourth quarter as we have a 94-88 game for the Bucks on top.
double teaming now. The Bulls trying to put pressure on the ball at half court. Pressy. Trying to get the ball away. Montre. Pressy works it around to Hodges. He's a good shooter. Jordan covering him. Pressy lets it go. And knocks it in. Pressy with a long jumper. He put it in and he now has a total of eight points. And that lead is back up to six. Under six minutes left in the game. Bulls have been in three tight ball games this year. Here's Higgins now. A foul away from the ball. It's Pressy. That's Pressy. Yeah. Indeed. And Pressy is in big trouble. He has his fifth personal foul. That also puts, I think, puts the bonus light on. And that could be very helpful to the Bulls at 548 remaining. Orlando Woolridge now in for Rod Higgins and Caldwell Jones. Very quiet since he got that basket in the first quarter. The Bulls centers in general have been extremely quiet in this game. Jones is there. He has three now. Jones and Corzine have co combined for a total of five points. Alden Lister, the starting puck center, has seven by himself. Markeski has added eight to that. Four points for Jones. He hits both of his free throws. The Bulls centers have been perfect from the foul line. I'll say that, by golly. They have four straight between them. And the Bulls have it back to four again. Pressy. Terry Cummings, covered by Sidney Green. Under heavy pressure. Here's Hodges. Good fake. Gets around Watley. Montre driving on Jordan. Got it up and in. And Montre now has 24 points. Boy, he put on a real good NBA move right there. Six points the Milwaukee lead. Approaching five minutes left in the game. And boy, this game has really picked up in intensity, I'll tell you. Watley to Woolridge. Covered by Pressy. Here's Watley. Head fake. Jordan driving in traffic. Nope. Foot four up there. Woolridge got the rebound. Puts it up and he fouls. Lister. And that's four on him. Oh, Woolridge on the line. Hanging by Michael Jordan. Uh, tipped up by Sidney Green. Controlled now by Orlando Woolridge. He goes up strong. And you see Lister get him across the arm. And for Lister, that's, uh, let me add one to my total. That's five personal. Oh, no, four. It is four. Excuse me. On uh, Lister. Had it right the first time. And Woolridge gets it right the first time. He puts it right in. Woolridge has hit the 30-point mark. This is his season high. Sure. Since that second one. And the rebound comes off to Milwaukee. It's a five-point game now. Time left. Four minutes, 50 seconds. And counting. Pressy, Woolridge guarding him. Baskets are going to come very, very tough here before too long. Coming. It hit traffic. Jordan. This is what I thought they should have done the other night in Milwaukee. On Terry Cummings, Cummings double team him. Watley gets the steal, gives it to Jordan. Jordan up over Montreal, off the glass. A chance to make this a two point game. Here he comes in strong. There it is. And Jordan has hit the free throw. 22 points total now. He converts a three point play, and the Bulls have it back to two. And the fans are really starting to whoop it up. Whoop. Whistle away from the ball. What's Sydney, this one? Sydney Green. A hole. All right, watch him play now uh, on the right side of the court. So what they'll try to do is to give Moncrief the ball and post up Terry Cummings, play a little two-on-two, -two, and back in the line, and line up now goes Mike Dunleavy. He'll be open for that three-point shot, so keep an eye on him going two-on-two. -two. Here's Dunleavy outside of three-point range. It's deep for Moncrief on a nice full press. He hit him with a nice pass. Moncrief with 26. And now it is the Bucks on top by four. The Bulls can cut it to a pair with a hook. Here's Jordan, covered by Montreal. Two of the really explosive players in this league. Feed to Jones. He'll take the shot. Throws it up. No, Watley tried for the tip. Uh-oh. Lister, look out. Pressy ahead of the field. And the count. Goal tending. Basket counts. They'll give it to Pressy. And a foul, too. There's a pass down to court. Pressy's going to go up with it. Sidney Green comes, takes a foul, pins it up on the board. Basket is good. Four minutes to go. The Bucks now with the six-point lead. Boy, and that could not have come with a, at a more opportune time as far as uh, Milwaukee's fortunes are concerned. Pressy missed on the three-point attempt.
Green with three personal fouls, as you saw, worth keeping in mind. We're down under four minutes left to play. Milwaukee with a tight six. Jordan Smith. Well, it's a pass off, but he's fouled by Moncrief, I believe. Dunleby, I think, got it red. Did he give it to him? Yeah, sure enough. And that's All his right. first of the game, and Jordan goes to the line after the pass off. The opponent's already well in effect now for both teams. That's a look at Mike Dunleby, who picked up that foul. And Jordan now at the line. Boy, what a free throw shooter this guy is. He has missed one out of seven, out of eight. He's only missed one out of nine attempts tonight. And he came in with a string of 11 of 12. Jordan now is 24, and he keeps the Bulls in it by hitting his free throws. Pressure from the Bulls. Pressing. Bounce pass to Montre. Pressy out front. Dunleavy. Down low to Lester. Look out. He blew the slam. It was blocked. He blew the slam. It, it was blocked. I think Woolridge blocked it. Woolridge jammed that one up at rim level. And the fans showing signs of really whooping it up. Jordan in the paint. Goes for it. Gets it. Jordan with 26. And both teams training baskets here. The Bucks with a two-point lead. 102 to 100. Three minutes left. Look at Montreal. Get loose under there. The ball is stripped away. Out of bounds. The ball's got it. He took Michael Jordan underneath. You see the excitement here. Here's a kid coming off a winning Olympic team. He's brought some spirit to this club. Listen to the fans. Hang him on here. Bulls can tie it with a basket. Jordan's going to try to get it for him. Kicks it across to Watley. To Jones. Foul. Lister. All right. Jordan created that. He went up in the air. He gave the ball to little Mo Watley. Watley took one step in. Watch him draw some people here. Watley draws the big man Lister to him. It goes to Caldwell Jones off the glass. Caldwell with a chance to tie. And a timeout will be taken by the Milwaukee Bucks. We are down to 240, especially a player like Montre. That's you, the scoreboard, and there's the situation for you. You learn the league. You're learning the league, learning your teammates, and you got to play the tough game <laughs> the other team. Well, Jordan will carry a heavy load for this team, but I'll tell you, he's carried it well, and he's relieved so much for Orlando Woolridge. Look at how much he has blessed it. Now here's Caldwell Jones. He is the man of the moment. Story, the free throw line, the Bulls have gotten back into it. In this Curtis, quarter. Uh, that one for five Milwaukee shooting includes two missed technicals. Jones now with five points. One more, and he ties it. The Bulls will have roared back from a nine-point deficit to tie this game in the fourth quarter at 2.46 left. He does it. Caldwell Jones with six. He's come alive with four free throws in the fourth quarter to help the Bulls cause. Well, we got a two-minute, 40-second game. Indeed, we do with a tie score. Dunleavy looking for Cummings. This is one of the big shooters right here. He's the guy who got the basket when they needed it. Dunleavy underneath. The he and Woolridge got tied up, but the foul will go against Orlando. All right, now they, they're doing this. They're double-teaming Terry Cummings when uh, he gets the ball. This is what you want to do. Take it out of Cummings' hands. Don't let him a chance to beat you. Now, here's Wadley shutting him off on one side. Sid Green on the other side. The little man is open, but uh, a little slow in getting there was Orlando Woolridge. And Mike Dunleavy, one of the great free-throw shooters in the league. He has not missed a free-throw this year in two attempts. And he's there again. First charity toss tonight. That breaks the tie two and a half minutes left. Amazing story about Mike right there being a sixth round draft choice. Played in the CBA for a while, coached in the CBA while he was playing. But hung in there tough. Here's Jordan going for the tie. And Jordan, Michael Jordan with 28 points. And the Bulls have tied at 104. Will they be denied tonight like they were in Milwaukee just two nights ago? Here's Cummings. Dunleavy, 13 to shoot. Fans roaring up a three-pointer by Dunleavy. Long in the mark. Lister trying to save it. He does so. Milwaukee reloads. Dunleavy. Now Montreal. Big rebound. Coming. Big loose ball. Montreal diving. Foul. Caldwell Jones, I think. He and Woolridge were under there. And they give it to Woolridge. That's his second personal foul. Coming from the weak side. Now you see Montreal slip across the lane. Does a good job. Michael Jordan in there trying to help out, and here he takes a look at the ball, and his man just goes back door on him, and he gets banged. And Moncrief just came off of two misses on 
technical foul. He can break this tie up. He sure can. He's one There's a loose wire up there or something. I think that is just hanging down. A very, very thin wire. See it hanging there? It's a microphone cord wire. They want to get it and tape it out. It's a crowd noise mic that, uh, so you can hear what's happening down there. But it came loose when yeah. that backboard was rattled. And boy, you want to make sure you get that out of the way. These guys, the way they get up in the air. That could cause some problems. So we have a temporary timeout on the floor. I just well, want to remind everybody, huh? Red, that uh, with a minute 50, we want to remind everybody we'll be catching up with the Bulls uh, in Detroit. That'll be our next telecast, November the 7th on Wednesday night. The Bulls will be in Detroit. The Bulls return home. They visit Kansas City tomorrow night, and then their next home game is November 13th. On Tuesday, they'll be uh, taking on the San Antonio Spurs. So we invite you to uh, be tuned for that. Be with us tomorrow night. We have a full evening of hockey action for you, starting with Sports Pro, then followed by the NHL preview, and then NHL hockey. Pat Foley and Dale Callen will have it for you. The Hawks taking on the Minnesota North Stars in what is always an outstanding division rivalry. <laughs> and now they're going to go ahead and tape that. Uh, well, this being a very strong union town, uh, they had to get the ladder out and the union man here. I'm sure they could have asked Randy Brewer to go over there and hold it up. And I guess he could have taped it back <laughs> if they wanted to do that. Yeah. But they're going to get it up there. Kevin is upset because it's given him a chance to rally around their coach and call a strategy meeting. And now Kevin calls his players over. Fair enough. So they'll rewire the uh, backboard with a minute 50 remaining. And the Bucks and Bulls are tied. This is the, uh, the crux of it, really. It's a minute 50 second game with a 104 tie. And there was a big uh, shot out of the corner by Dunley. He missed a three-point attempt, and the Bucks were able to come up with the rebound. Lister tipped it and just saved it from going out of bounds. It gave him another 24 seconds. Indeed, that could be certainly a key. There are a lot of things. Those two missed technicals yeah. could look very large on Milwaukee's part if they lose tonight. So, coming uh, to the free throw line will be Montreal right now. try to break the tie with a minute 50 left. Both of these teams go for the century mark. And Montreal will step to the foul line. One for four in this quarter for Sydney. You see the uh, total point number for him tonight. He breaks it. You know, I look for this game only to get rougher. Mo Watley with it up over the rim. It's going to fall in. It's going to fall back in, and it's tapped up there. What a tough break. And now it's a two-point Bucks lead. Here's Prissy in the drive. No! Lester missed the slam, and the Bulls have it. They can still tie it. Here's Montreal, or uh, Jordan driving with oh! Oh!
Benton. He was not on the floor. Orlando Woolridge and Sidney Green. Jordan and Watley. All then Lister. Gajewski comes in. They called that last foul on Lister. I thought they had given it to Moncrief. No, they, they fouled Lister out, and they were yeah. going to come in with Randy Brewer, but McKeskey replaces him now. A little more right. veteran, a better touch on the outside. Lister is fouled out with 47. What a job from the line for Jordan tonight. And one more. And the Bulls have fought back. They lead it. They have a 33-point performance from Jordan. 40 seconds left. Here's Cummings, a tough shot. He nails it. Cummings with 26 and a standing jumper under heavy pressure. 